This is the Lineman Channel. Hi, I'm Travis Christensen with Northwest Lineman College. Let's take a look at how to operate this Cooper Recloser. It has three single phase reclosers that operate as one unit. It can be operated remotely by SCADA, manually with a hot stick, or locally using this control panel. The bottom of the panel has all the main functions needed to operate this device. If you're going to be doing any hot work, turn on the hotline tag and make sure that the light below illuminates. This will set the recloser on a quicker time curve and prevent it from reclosing. If this switch is on, it will override any of the settings that affect tripping speeds. To turn on the hotline tag, you can do it remotely by SCADA or locally at the control panel. But an important safety feature to note is that wherever you turn it on is where you need to turn it off. So if I turn it on here at the control panel, I need to return to the control panel to turn it off. These buttons are to open and close the device, and over here are the quick access keys. To turn them on or off, first push the change button, and then make your selection. Ground trip blocked will disable the ground sensing of the device. Non-reclosing will disable the automatic operation, but it will not change the response time. So if you're doing any hot work, still use the hotline tag. Supervisory off will disable remote operation. If any of the phase select function keys are illuminated, the trip and close will only operate those phases. And these options buttons can be customized for different functions. If you need to operate the recloser manually, you can do it using a hot stick and pulling down on one of the yellow handles. Keep in mind, the yellow handle is only for manual operation. When you operate the recloser from the control panel, the yellow handles do not come down. Since this recloser is set in a three-phase lockout, pulling down on just one yellow handle will open all three phases. If it was set on a single-phase lockout, then the yellow handle you pull down would open that phase. To close the recloser, go ahead and push the yellow handle back up. But this does not actually close the recloser. It can only be done from the control panel. The top buttons on the panel are for programming and finding specific information. Metering will display instantaneous current and voltage on the line. Reset targets will reset the fault target indicators. Events will show a log of the last 25 actions. Lamp test will illuminate all the lamps to make sure they're working properly. Settings will show an operations menu. The operations counter will display how many operations the device has had. Alarms will show the status of each alarm. And once again, the change button will enable or disable the function keys below. Below that is a port for connecting a laptop. A nice feature of this device is Fault Locator, which allows an operator to find the distance of a fault from the recloser, and also what type of fault it is, such as a phase-to-phase -phase or phase-to-ground fault. Let's take a look at the top of the panel at the LEDs. Control OK means everything is operating properly. Control power indicates there's enough voltage for the recloser to trip. If the control lockout is steady green, the control for all three phases is locked out, and if it's blinking, only one or two of them are locked out. Same with the recloser open and closed. A steady light indicates that all phases are open or closed, and a blinking light means only one or two of them are. The phase fault lights indicate if each phase was at maximum current or within 20% of the maximum current when it tripped. Ground and sensitive ground fault indicate a ground or sensitive earth fault were present when it tripped. If the alarm light's on, go down to the alarm status to see which one went off. Above minimum trip means that the current exceeds the level set for minimum trip. The phase voltage lights come on to indicate there's voltage on each phase. Voltage and frequency trip come on if the recloser trip due to high or low voltage or frequency. And finally, the indicator lights can be customized to come on in predetermined situations. For Northwest Lyman College, I'm Travis Christensen. Work safe out there.